Hey, hey, welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Martin, and just a weekly vlog. It's a little late. Usually I do these on Tuesday, but it's been a really busy week. Um, no, it really hasn't been that busy. I've just been behind on getting things done. That's all there is, too. You know, uh, I found that people that are really busy actually are more productive, and they get things done in a more timely manner because they learn to manage their time better. Well, I haven't been very busy lately, so when all of a sudden I have a few new things pop up, it's throwing my schedule off, and that's meant missing a few videos. So you may have noticed I haven't done uh, quiz number nine. I haven't done um, the splash page for your BrickLink website, but those will be coming out. They haven't been canceled. I'll get those taken care of um, pretty soon. In the meantime, the weekly haul is out right now, and the news will be posted every Sunday and Thursday on schedule. Those are my priorities. Um, beyond that, I just hit 300 subs in the last week. Actually, it's been about a week ago now. Very excited about that. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. You know what? I want to talk about watching videos to the end. To me, it's important when I watch one of your videos, I want to make sure I watch the entire video. And I was caught with the Unstoppable Builder. Uh, he makes good videos. And whether I had walked away and, or was doing something simultaneously and wasn't paying attention, the Unstoppable Builder had a contest. And I watched the video and made a comment, but nothing about the contest. So I didn't enter uh, his contest. I feel really bad about that. So there you go. Shout out to the Unstoppable Builder that I've said now three times. Uh, anyways, I, whenever I do watch videos, I always try to watch to the end. I always try to watch the entire thing. And I believe when I'm commenting on your video, most of the time I'm letting you know that. I'm commenting about something that you said in the video because I want you to know, hey, I'm there and I'm not just saying good stuff or whatever. I am watching the whole thing. Um, sometimes I do get sidetracked and I watch it or I listen to it while I'm doing something else. But for the most part... If I'm putting a comment on your video, that means I watched it. And 9 out of 10, if not more, I'm going to like the video. And, you know, click and like the video. Just a tip on that. Or not a tip. Just letting you know what I'm doing. Um, man, there have been new YouTube channels popping up every single day, it seems like. You know, I just started in January of 2014. And I think I started around the same time as a few other people like Kevin F., Brick Adjuster, Friction Pin, um, a few others, sorry if I didn't mention. And it's been really fun to see the growth of these other channels along with myself. I'm very excited about this. And along come all these new channels left and right. Uh, for instance, Bricks Today Productions is a new one that's pretty good. And there's just been a whole, I could probably make an entire list of all these new channels that have come out this year. And it, it's very exciting. One of the things I wanted to say, if you are coming up with a new channel, uh, oh yeah, Co Cookies Bricks, is that right? Oh man, um, there's a whole bunch. But anyways, if you're starting a new channel, your view your viewership isn't going to be awesome right away. I remember when I was first posting videos, I started commenting on other people's videos, watching a few other videos, and brought a few people back to mine, and I'd get like five or ten views. And now, three months into it, getting over 100 views per video. So I'm really loving that. I mean, it, it shows that when people do watch, they keep coming back. And that's that's really the goal, is for me to be making videos and have you like them enough that you keep coming back because that shows that I'm making something that's quality product and I'm making something that you like, something that's pretty cool. So if you're making your videos, make sure it's good content. Um, and I guess... If you're not getting a lot of views right now, don't worry about it. you got to keep going. Be consistent and keep putting videos out there. And don't just put out the video and walk away. If you want it to grow faster, I would suggest putting your video out and doing some networking and so forth. Well, I can get into more of that later, but some of the things that I have planned, I already told you I'm going to do a, a how to create a splash page for your BrickLink store. Also going to do a how, not a how-to video, but just show you how I do clean my Lego bricks. In fact, I've got to show you this. So, these are blue cups. These are all leftovers. 
Now, if you've watched my Instagram or checked out my Instagram page, you notice that uh, we went through about eight pounds of used Lego. These are all the rejects. These are all the defective pieces, you might say. And I'm going to figure out maybe a way to use these in my own mocks because they have scratches and nicks or they have something that's wrong with them. And this is a lot, a lot of pieces. So just, I guess, a, a reminder, if you're ever shopping in my store, we are checking. We're taking out a lot of different pieces because we don't believe they're 100% quality. So these three right here, Tiffany went through and said, you know what, Martin, keep these, build something with them. But we don't want them in Mr. Bear's Bricks. And it's even some good pieces, like a surfboard and whatever else. Tons of good stuff. There's a few of them. So great pieces, but there's just they're not excellent used quality. So just a reminder, if you're ever shopping in my store, we take out the bad stuff. Um, I guess that's about all I wanted to say today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you to my 300 plus subscribers. And again, if you're putting comments on my videos, I'm doing my best to take my time and go watch your videos. So I uh, hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a great week. I'll catch you next time. See ya.